And there we go. Hmm. This is going to be good. Hey, Isame. What you working on? Oh, hello, Silky. I didn't see you there. This... This is nothing. Just a little project. Sorry if I scared you. But really, what's in the pot? A bunch of veggies? I said it was nothing. But I saw a bunch of veggies. And it smells totally weird. What are you doing? Ugh, fine. I'm making some pickles. And no, you can't have any. Well, they smell terrible. And why would you eat vegetables anyway? Meat is so much yummier. I beg your pardon. My pickles are exquisite. You'd be lucky to even taste one. Well, <laughs> no thanks. But all this talk about meat is making me hungry. Think I'll go hunting for a while. Bye! No one has ever spoken ill of my pickles. This isn't over. Selki, may I have your attention? Sure! What's up, Isame? The other day, you disparaged my homemade pickles. You mean those stinky veggies? No! Well, I mean, technically, yes. The point is, they're not stinky. They're gourmet. And I've brought something for you to sample today. What is this? It looks like meat. Yes, it's buffalo. Please, try it. Mmm, it's delicious! How did you make it so tender? Oh, I pickled it. What? Really? Are you trying to poison me or something? Of course not. My traditional pickle brine is perfectly healthy, and it's the reason that meat is so tender and flavorful. Well, it is delicious. I suppose I could try another bite. Certainly. But first, try this pickled cucumber. If you insist. Oh, it's so crunchy and juicy. I love it. Well, I'm glad you like it. So you see, my pickles are not to be trifled with or disparaged. Yep. Count me in on the pickle party. Pickles for life. Yes, pickles for life. Blech. This pickle is terrible. How come all the ones I make turn out like this? Take a deep breath, Selky. Let's talk through this. But, but, what am I doing wrong? It's not any one thing, Selkie. Your whole approach to pickling needs work. First of all, one does not simply become a pickle master overnight. It takes years of careful practice, attention to detail. But I want to eat delicious pickles now! Please, get a hold of yourself. You'll get the hang of this. In the meantime, I will share my pickles with you. Wait, really? Of course. One of the great things about pickles is how long they keep. So, naturally, I maintain at least one year's supply at all times in my tent. That's amazing! Do you have any more of that buffalo from the other day? Actually, I do. Although pickled meat doesn't keep quite as well as veggies. So what? Why keep this when you can just eat it right away? Duty! <laughs> how can you enjoy the depth of flavor when you eat that quickly? Are you even chewing? Ah, uh, that hit the spot. Got any more? So, this is my life now. Pickle chef to a ravenous she-fox. It could be worse. What are you mumbling about? And where are all the pickles you promised me? Ah, uh, it's nothing, Silky. Please, come and help yourself to any of the pickles in my tent. I will simply have to ramp up production to keep up with demand. Ah, uh, you're the best, Isame. Wait a second. You'll keep teaching me how to make my own, right? Because I don't want to eat all your pickles. What kind of pickle pal would do that to another pickle pal? Of course. You'll be a fine pickle pal in time. Hey, Isame! Check it out! Hello, Selkie. What is that? It's a rice cracker, of course. Enjoy! I see. Thanks? You bet! It's just a little thank you for introducing me to the world of pickles! Well, thank you very much. Um, not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but why a rice cracker? What do you mean horse? It's a cracker, dum-dum! Anyway, I just thought it would pair well with your signature pickle brine. Well, that's very thoughtful. Thank you. Wait, where exactly did you get this cracker anyway? 
Selkie, I happen to know that this type of cracker isn't available within 200 miles. I know, but I thought you would really like it. Are you mad? Mad? No, I'm just... You didn't have to do that. But it means a lot to me that you did. Oh, good! See, I did it because I really like you. Actually, it's more like I love you. What do you think about that? Gee, you really know how to put a guy on the spot, Selkie. The truth is, I like you too. Maybe I even love you. But this is a little bit fast for me. It seems like everyone is getting married. Well, that's silly. Let's just start by being boyfriend and girlfriend. Ready? Go! Wow, it's that easy, huh? Well, let's go with it. I'm happy to have you as my girlfriend, Selkie. Me too! Now let's have a pickle and rice cracker feast to celebrate! <laughs>